tea, the queen, and the world's largest ferris wheel. These are all things that come to mind when you think of the United Kingdom. But there are many questions people have about the UK. For example, is there a way to get a message from the Queen? Well, yes, there is. Also, why are eggs from the United States banned in the UK? And what's the difference between Great Britain and the United Kingdom? Is it the same thing or not? Well, today you're going to get all of those answers from a real life Brit. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at 10 things about the UK that puzzle foreigners. But before we board our big red bus, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10, we have Get a Message from the Queen. Queen Elizabeth II may be the most famous woman in the world. You may know Queen Elizabeth or Liz as the Queen of England, but did you know she's actually the Queen of 16 different countries? Most of these are former colonies of the British Empire. Go back in history and most countries on earth were a part of the British Empire. But these days, these countries are known as the Commonwealth. These countries include Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Jamaica, Papua New Guinea, and many more. But how do you get a message from the Queen herself? It's pretty easy, but takes a long time, 100 years to be exact. If you make it to age 100 in the UK, then you can get a telegram from the Queen. You also get another one if you make it to 105, and even more each year after that. Next up is no jaywalking. Did you know that Brits have one surefire way to spot a tourist in their country? That is, that they'll wait for streetlights to turn red before crossing the road. In many countries around the world, including the USA and many European countries, there are laws known as jaywalking laws. This means that it's illegal to cross the road if the lights are not red. But in the UK, this does not exist. Pedestrians can cross the road at any time. And if they happen to be hit by a car, then that's their fault. So you actually don't need to wait for the light to turn red before crossing the street in the UK. You can go at any time. Just to make sure you know which side of the road cars are driving on in the UK. The UK is one of the few countries where you drive on the left, not the right. So beware. Next up is Big Ben. Even if you've never been to the capital city of the UK, London, I'm sure you know the Big Ben. Many think that the Big Ben is this tower, but it isn't. The tower is actually called the Elizabeth Tower. It's located in the heart of London and is right next to the House of Commons, which is the UK's parliament. But if the tower is called the Elizabeth Tower, then what exactly is Big Ben? Well, Big Ben is not the clock nor the tower. Instead, it's the bell inside the tower. Inside the clock tower is a gigantic loud bell, known as the Great Bell. That's right, even the bell's name isn't actually Big Ben, it's just a nickname for the Great Bell. So next time somebody points out Big Ben as the tower, you can say, no, that's the Elizabeth Tower. Next up is no US eggs. If you're American and get a hankering for some American eggs in Britain, then you'll be out of luck. That is because eggs from the USA are banned in the UK. It's often laughed about that Kinder eggs are banned in the USA. But why is it that eggs coming from the United States are not allowed in the UK? Now, it's nothing to do with the eggs themselves. They still are white and have yolks. But instead, it's about how they're processed in the USA. It's a federal law in America that all eggs must be washed before they reach the shelves. But in the UK, it's illegal for eggs to be washed or cleaned in any way before they meet the consumer. Britain does this to make sure farmers produce the cleanest eggs possible. That is because if they produce dirty eggs, no one is going to buy them. They can't be artificially washed and they have to be cleaned at the farm. Coming up next, we have no trespassing. This may be an odd one if you're coming from the USA. In the United States, you can be arrested for going on someone else's land. And in some rural areas in the US, you may see signs saying trespassers will be shot. But that is not what you'll see in the UK. That is because in the United Kingdom, trespassing is not against the law. In fact, in the UK, rambler's rights mean you can go anywhere you want. Legally, if someone goes on your property, then you can ask them to leave. If they don't leave, then it can be a civil matter, but not a legal one. Also in Britain, you can go absolutely anywhere and the police cannot remove you just because you don't own the land. So if you're out on a hike in the UK and you get lost, don't worry, you're allowed to go on private land. It's not a legal matter. 
Next up is Sunday Cinemas. So this one only applies to one part of the UK, which is Northern Ireland. One crazy law from Northern Ireland says it's illegal to go to the cinema on a Sunday. That's because Sunday is regarded as a holy day. In fact, the fine for breaking this law is £65. Next up we have UK vs Great Britain. You've likely heard many different names for the country the United Kingdom. Some call it the UK, the United Kingdom or Great Britain. But what exactly is this country or group of countries? Well, allow me to explain. The UK or United Kingdom is a sovereign state. This includes the countries England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. On the other hand, Great Britain is only England, Wales and Scotland. And the British Isles include England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Ireland. And also the islands of Guernsey, Jersey and the Isle of Man. It can get very complicated, but there you go, that's how the UK versus Great Britain actually works. If you're still confused though, don't feel bad, most people in these countries don't even know the difference. Next up is Royal Guards. One major attraction in London is seeing the Queen's Guards. These are the guys with gigantic rifles, red coats and large black hats. They are known for marching around, pushing tourists out of the way, and also not reacting no matter what people do. Believe it or not, these rifles are not just for show, they're actually loaded. They operate in various areas around London, including Buckingham Palace, St James's Palace, the Tower of London and Windsor Castle. It can get very very hot under those hats, and in 2016, at the Queen's 90th birthday, one royal guard actually fainted. However, no one standing with him even helped, proving these guys are really cold and scary. They're not allowed to move or react to anything, which is why they did not help their fallen soldier. But believe it or not, the Royal Guards are even taught how to faint in case they do pass out due to the sweltering heat. And finally on the list, we have tea. Tea is very popular in China and India, but it's kind of a stereotype that every Brit drinks a lot of tea, and that stereotype is true. Well, despite the country being pretty small, Brits drink more tea than any other country. Britain drinks 20 times more tea than the USA, despite being way smaller. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Which of these crazy things about the UK did you find most baffling? Vote in the poll in the top right corner and let me know. If you want some more amazing videos, check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.